Uh, obviously, you guys are just looking at a black screen right now, so we're not like showing anything just yet. Uh, yeah, Griffin is currently server muted. We're not we're not running any risks off the off the start. <laughs> we might we might unmute him in a minute. Um, I've actually got in house right now. Mr. Ruben B is sitting right here next to me. Um, you know, resident uh, fire expert. He, he actually did the hello. Did the, did the did the fire spoilers with me a couple weeks back? Um, Stick girl three ninety also here of course. She's right next to me at the second computer. Um, is there a stream chat? Yeah. Ugh. He's so annoying. I wish you just. <laughs> None of this would be a problem if my broke brother just didn't s subscribe to the one dollar tier. Like that's that's really Aww. that's really the. <laughs> just want to type in general chat. What is in the general chat? Rolls. I will temporarily make them a s okay. There you go. Stream chat's up. And we also have I don't know what your name is on the Discord. Uh, Hress Felger is a f another friend of mine, another local player who has helped me a lot back in the alpha days. Um, I don't think he's actually in this Discord currently, but uh, <laughs> Griffin says I know a dev. Say hi. Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> so these two guys just drove up for a little visit. Um, we're gonna be hanging out with them this weekend, actually doing some some testing, some playing. We're gonna have a little a little event tomorrow night. Um, some of them are they're, they're, they're raising their eyebrows right now because they don't know about this, but it's uh, it's in it's it's in the books. But um, super happy a bunch of you're in here. Um, you know, right off the rip, we're gonna do we're doing a pretty short stream tonight. We're gonna do a little bit of an announcement, a little bit of a reveal, um, talk about some visual design. I guess would be the way to, to talk about it. Um, you know, we're, we're gonna take a step back. You know, from the from the card design and the and the balance and that type of thing, like we did last week and. Um, kind of, you know, look at the other side of the coin a little bit. But um, Kathy's drum rolling on her leg right now. She's so, so excited. excited. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, the, um, the Patreons are going great. I, I want to start off, you know, the very top of the order here. Um, everything that has happened so far is, is because of you guys. Um, everybody who's, you know, helped out, contributed to any level, even, you know, the lowly $1 Jake and – all the way up to a lot of my sworn enemies and my um, Slayer squads and Epics and all these guys that are in here. I mean, this there's there's no way that I could have gotten this far without that input, without that that support, and it's it's huge to be able to have that. Um, you know, the biggest thank yous all around. It, it's 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 so it's surreal to be where we are today. Like like the yeah. thing that I'm about to click on is just like it blows my mind that we've made it to this moment. But um, I've been shopping for artists. I've been working. Uh, you know, trying to find a good fit, trying to find kind of the style that I wanted. I always wanted a a, a comic book esque, you know, not super realistic, but kind of um, stylized artist to you know start working on some of these pieces. And we finally got one. Um, we we've 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 got him on you know under a contract. He has finished his first piece. Um, I I fully and officially own this, and and I'm gonna reveal it and show it to you guys right now. This is the like first first look, flawed yeah. Card. First official flawed card. Whoops. Oh. I wanted to start with just the art, but this is what is that? What is Jake spamming? Uh, oh. This is Earth's Elite. This is the artwork for Earth's Elite. This is this is gonna be Lewis? super official. <laughs> Ruben Lewis, what do you guys think? <laughs> it just says looks good. So, so, we're just handing the bike over to Lewis. So, what are you doing with that? What are you doing with the armor? He's armor one. Yep. So that was that was. I, I, I've, Kathy has made, or I should say, my graphic designer. The. Uh, <laughs> The the second half of the of the project over here has done a quick mock up. This is not set in stone by any means, um, but this is an idea for one of the possible Earth's elite with an Earth essence on him, kind of how it could end up looking. Um, and this is what we're going to kind of dive into today and like talk about some of the choices that we're making as far as moving some of this stuff around and potential ways that this might change. Um, you know how to. One of the big challenges with flawed is that I'm ultimately trying to put two cards on every card. Um, the essence has its own stats, has its own color, cost modifiers, abilities, you know, rules, text, uh, technically it needs art credits. I mean, all this stuff, right. Has to somehow fit on top of another card. It has to be readable. It has to be streamlined. It has to be playable. It has to be uh, a relatively positive experience for, um, you know, the, the players. Um, so 
I don't even who who said side stats first, Kathy? Was that? I think I did. Okay. I just wanted to shout out some of the comments that people are saying in the stream chat. DM says it looks very nice. Mm -hmm. Damn, pretty good. I like it. Robert Mix is a king. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> Can't nut just nut it. I think is that what does that say? Yeah, yeah that's all. <laughs> okay. Okay, just says nut. I think it, he's got a little. His symbol is a little. Um, Peanut allergy awareness poster. So I think that that's the, he he can't have nuts is what that means. Um, yeah. Stop. <laughs> what? So I think I was the first one to say about having the stat line on the side because for two reasons. First off, I think did I mention Force of Will or Force Will did it for a while. Force Will did it. I yeah. think Vanguard did it too. And I liked how when you, ever you have a combat sequence that causes the card to physically turn sideways. It's just visually a lot easier to line it up and compare power to health and do the calculations. And it became even more cumbersome where you now also have to consider speed. Yeah. So I was like, this is a much easier way to physically line up the things so you can easily glance across the cards and compare mm -hmm. speed, power, health. But then also, since you are having essentially two cards on one mm -hmm. with the essence overlay and then the card on the back, you really have to be as smart as you can about the space as possible. And having the stat line in the middle was really just cutting the card in half yeah. and kind of like reducing our use of the vertical space yep. to be as efficient as possible. Yeah. This way, we ended up having so much more room in the center to really showcase the art. Yep. And also, we were able to take the longest back card text and the longest right. essence, even though I don't think they were legal areas. They weren't. <laughs> and, and throw them on top of each other and just say, like, let's say, worst case scenario, there's the longest text with the, on the card versus yeah. the longest with the essence, and it fits. And you, and you still could, like, see your space coming right, in. Right, right. And that's... So I, even worst case Worst scenario. case, yeah. Um, and that was with moving not only the stat line to a vertical component, but also you can't really see it because you don't have an essence art right now, but where the little R is with the hand on the right side, that's where you're going to see the actual essence as just in terms of what it generates in the resource zone right. for paying it a cost. Right. Any, Any added text, text that the essence is going to add to the card, like, oh, this card now gets evasion one, one or something like that will mm -hmm. still be on the main card that way you don't lose it and that was another thing it's going to keep being long-winded go for it noticed when we were play testing yeah this is what i was just about to talk about yeah would read the top bit of text see the stat line and stop, stop. reading yep and they wouldn't realize all of those bonuses that the essence was giving the card yeah which is part of the card it's it is just if it's in the resource zone people would stop reading so this way anything in the resource zone will just be on the right right and then all of the text that's relevant in the combat Rules zone text, or yeah. the dead zone will be in the middle and you won't miss it. I love this layout. It does, I think yeah. It's fantastic. And we also it's added just a basic earth on it right now. Yeah. 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 The circle in the top right corner underneath the cost to play is if the essence would yep. add an additional cost that would go in that circle. And that was another thing that we noticed people were missing. It was like we're yeah. hiding too much. It's too artwork. difficult to see inside of the artwork. So this, this honestly, the original like alpha internal playtest cards are missing a lot, right? Um, Jake just asked a good question, or excuse me, Griffin. He says, so the essence text will end up at the bottom still. No. Um, one of the things that I think is actually really cool about this layout is, is because we've taken the stat line and pushed it to the side, and we've taken the resource production and pushed it to the other side, the entire central column of the card is just going to be rules text for this card once the two layers are put together, right? You've got your essence, you've got your card, any rules text that is relevant for this card is going to be in the center. Since now it's all going to be in one space, we can kind of order it however we want, and that actually helps a lot with the design because now, um, for those of you who have played and like seen the old cards, Imagine, let me, here, let me just pull up another, I'm just going to pull up any, any old card from. I just love seeing Earth Elite on my screen. It's so, yeah. I mean, if I saw this card like out on a table, I'd be like, what are you guys playing? And oh, yeah. I start playing it. It looks so good. So here's an example of just, I just literally clicked on the first card I saw. This is Absorb Magic with Essence of the Guardian. This is a, this is a terrible card. You should never build this for the record, guys. <laughs> Essence of the Guardian, not that good on, a, <laughs> on Absorb Magic. But, um. Basically, with, with this layout, the, the absorb magic half of things is entirely above the stat line, right? You've got, you've got absorb magic, you've got its cost, you've got its type, event, negate, like all, everything that has to do with absorb magic is above the stat line, and everything that has to do with um, Essence of the Guardian is below the stat line. And now if you consider, let me see if I can like very quickly pull up. I probably should have had this type of stuff prepared, but you know, whatever, we're, we're, we're getting You're it. You're too excited. Oh, we're so excited. Um, so there's that, and then one more thing. For the sake of argument, I'm just really going all in here, guys. 
Whoops, wrong one. OK, so when you look at just absorb magic without the essence and you look at just the essence without absorb magic, the text for Essence of the Guardian is covering the Essence of the Guardian artwork, and the text for Absorb Magic is covering the Absorb Magic artwork. Now, flip that around, okay? Take the Essence of the Guardian data and slide it up, like, above where the stat line would be, kind of, you know, two-thirds of the way up the card. Take the text from Absorb Magic and slide it down toward the bottom, like, starting at around the, like, maybe halfway point and working its way down. And what you end up with is sort of an invisible line in the, in the middle of the card where rules text from the essence will start and work its way up rules text from the card will start and work its way down and they, that way they'll always butt up against each other and the the total rules text for this card earth's elite plus its essence will always be one like flowing section but when you're holding just earth's elite in your left hand his rules text isn't really conflicted with his art as much and you're holding just you know I mean, on the essence, it won't. It won't. It won't. Conflict. Yeah, with the new essences, hopefully, it won't conflict at all. But basically, by sliding the rules text down, you get a, a much better look at the art on each each half of the card, right? Um, and I also and want, oh, sorry. doing that little flip just makes it where you still get a continuous experience yeah. of like this is what this card does. So something that we intentionally did was, in terms of well, which one goes on top and which one goes on the bottom, we intentionally put the cards text on the bottom right. and the essence on the top because the essences tend to have less text. Right. So you would get the majority of the artwork showing through on average. Even after they're combined. Even after they're combined by right. having the base card text on the bottom and then essence still from the middle like up. I think even like the biggest essence is only like three lines. Whereas like we have a lot there's, of there's, like there's a couple of the dual essences that add a cost that are five lines total. Okay. But those are, there are yeah. two of them, I think. Yeah. And that's exactly. going to be your worst case. Yeah. yeah. Overall, you'll see the most art if the card text is from the middle down. Yeah. The essence text is from the middle down. <laughs> Griffin says, big fan of the real 3D sword tip. <laughs> Yo, that was my idea. Thank yeah. you. We actually specifically requested the artist send us a Photoshop file with the character separate from the background so that I could do that, uh, like post-production in the graphic design. It looks baller, and I love it. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm definitely going to overuse that. I'm, <laughs> stuff's going to be jumping out all the time on all these cards. I don't, I don't know if you can overuse it. I think that if it just the more of the artwork you can get out in front, the better. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, think it's, I think it's really hard to be like, oh, look at, look at Flawed Card Game with their sword poking out of the card again. Like, what a bunch of new – no, it's going to look <laughs> – it's going to look good. <laughs> That's actually a really, really uh, common thing to see in a lot of card games is, like, where the art is. Like really a standout thing. Like take yeah. for instance, um, in, in Magic, in a straw. One of the design choices that they made for a lot of the straw card art is that like they want yeah. to involve the viewer in the artwork, but you do that at these three dimensions, illusions into the art. Yeah, it definitely works. It puts you in the like you you feel like he's charging it. Oh yeah, and I love the action of this card. Like the way that even just the entire scope looks kind of a little bit fish lands like. He's coming out of the woods. He's like, I'm here to, like, mess somebody up. You got, like, the discarded, like, arms and armor around him from, like, the last couple people who tried to mess around and find out. Like, he's just really, really, really in there. Um, I, you know, I gave a lot of this description to the artist, and, I mean, he, he ran with it. He was really, really good um, for, the, for the sake of, like, working with me and, and getting this to look the way I wanted it to look. Um, you know what I'm upset about, though, is his cute little sword detail in the back got blocked by the stat bar. Yeah. You can't win them all, I guess. You, you, you <laughs> cannot win them all, I, I suppose. I love that little sword. No, no, like, like that, that's also another one of those things that, though, like, there are, there are a, lot a lot of cards that have, have little things like that. And, and as, as you play with the cards more, more they're, they're almost like little, little like, Easter eggs. Yeah. yeah. Fine, like, yeah. Oh, holy crap. Like, is that a sword in the background? Like, right. did he just mess up? And you, like, like if assuming I use the starters in the future, I could even have him try to replicate a hilt, like, similar to that with the red wrap and the pointy uh -huh. sort of cross guard and stuff and put that on a fire unit. Exactly. Where it's just like... Oh, somebody, somebody yeah. came to the wrong neck of the woods over here and, like, yeah. found out real quick. <laughs> I wanted to talk about something else with the template layout that we haven't addressed yet. If we sure. Go back over yeah, I can click one. over. Yep. So another thing that we noticed was having card design, deck building terminology getting muddled in with stuff that was only relevant during gameplay. So when we were organizing where certain things went on the template, it was, okay, well, we need to have the, like, card building stuff 
separate so that you're not constantly rereading deck yeah. building stuff while you're trying to play the game. Again, I'll just really quick sidebar on that. I don't know how many people in here have played with the current like alpha cards, like the, the internal playtest cards. There are four stats on the stat line, and that's exactly what Kathy's getting at right now. I think 90-ish percent of people who have played the game, like one of their first questions is, wait, which of these two numbers is HP? What is this number? What is this stat? Like, And, and having what you're about to get on, moving it, as, as, as Kathy was about to say. I might have, might have pitched this a little too fast. but <laughs> So like we took the card construction cost and yeah. took it out of the stat, stat line. Because right. after you're done building your cards, that number doesn't matter anymore. So now card construction is in the bottom right corner. You can reference it while you're deck building, mm. but it's like very much out of the way for when you're actually playing the game and it's not disrupting like yeah. what are all these things. Also, you don't see it in this example because you just use Earth Essence. And we also have an 100% mana. We haven't locked this down yet, but... Um, but in terms of like an essence that is unit bound or event bound, meaning you can only put that essence on a unit or you can only put that essence on an event. Since that is a term that you only need to know during deck building, we're talking about putting that like uh, in the box next to where it says Earth Essence, maybe like italicized yeah. and right justified. So like you see it there, but it's we just don't want it in the main yeah. text area anymore. So one of the other put it more towards like where step one is. One of the other things I thought would be kind of interesting is if you just used it symbolically, like yes, like yes, yes. rather than writing out rather than writing out like earth lock, you could just literally have a small earth symbol, a small like padlock, like in the corner next to the CCC, and now you know that that card is earth lock. Yes. And like again, oh, all that sure. data is in the bottom right hand corner. So while you're building your deck, everything you need to know about building those cards right. is in one spot. Yeah, or like the word unit, right mm -hmm. short, a little lock yep. symbol. Yep. Yep. Um, but yeah, definitely either putting it in that bottom corner where CCC is, or putting it like on the essence line, on perhaps. The yeah. Essence line box there, but it's it's going to be away from the when you get to the actual text box in the middle of the card. It's mm -hmm. only going to be like on the stack yep. in the combat rules zone, text in the dead zone. Legitimate the gameplay rules zone. text. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, we've, we've been working on this a lot. Uh, I know that I've been making a couple announcements. We just put up a, two new decks on the TTS table. I don't know if anybody's gotten there and looked around at those yet, you know, kind of seen what they were. Um, I'm always doing stuff like that, just editing cards, trying to put some stuff together. Um, so that was, that was one of the big, you know, focuses I've had recently. But the other thing was, was this. We've been, we've been really working, a hard, like, a lot, corresponding with the artists, like, getting this sorted out. Um, with the holidays, like, you know, a lot of the back and forth ended up being quite, you know, dragged out. He was really good to work with. I mean, he, he went above and beyond every time I was like, Hey, how about this type of, you know, look or this type of change? Or what do you think about this description? Or what if we move this like this, like really receptive and, and just, just yeah. brought it to life. Just absolutely brought it to life. He was very receptive of our color changes. Can you make the yeah. this color? <laughs> yeah. Can you make the armor this color? Wait, go back. I like it the way you already had it. <laughs> um, I do want to... Like, his name is Robert Nix. That's on the art credit down here. But he also did say that he you know, he prefers to usually go by his, um, his Instagram. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the stream chat real quick. Yeah. It is... Can you also say it out loud? Just on the yeah, recording? it's an arena artist, but there's only one A in the middle. So it's like a Ren artist. I don't, I don't know. A R yeah i just typed it out too in the in the stream chat um but no this guy was great he helped us out a ton um it's it's yeah <laughs> griffin's just like king the, the literal king is like king <laughs> i want to mention also just in case it wasn't clear right now on the right side where it's got the resource with the fist symbol there will be essence artwork there yeah little you know, earth type wispies, accents wind, and things, yeah. Accents. So it will cover up where his shield is and a bit, very much like pop out so you can yep. see the essence art there. Yep. Um, but that's unfortunately missing right now. Just because we, we just, I just have to find the person to do it. Yeah, that's that's gonna be another person to hire, another person, you know, go through the process. Um, yeah, I mean, we're this is the stage that we're in. I mean, we're trying to push forward with you know, getting. I want to get enough assets that I can have something officially printed. I want to have... So the goal is like a 20-card learn-to-play deck? Yeah, yeah. I want to have a, a demo learn-to-play deck, like, you know, officially printed, card back, card stock, like the whole deal, like get a nice fat print run of them done and have a bunch of them. And I, I want to get out there and start showing this to more people than just, you know, my locals and my patrons and my, you know, the groups that I know. I, I need, I want to, I want people to see it. Um, but this is that big hurdle, right? This is like, I, I you, you can't go out there with just like, cards on like loose leaf paper and be like hey check out my really sweet idea like like yeah. people don't take it seriously and they won't they won't you know they won't really give it a fair we're shake one of the biggest steps like you have an idea that's great so does everyone else one right. of the biggest steps is having a prototype a good prototype. yep exactly so um we did 
Uh, I have another artist working on a couple pieces that we're gonna, you know, we're gonna we're gonna see how those all go. I've got um, this guy right here, arena artist, actually, you know, s signed on for us at least a second piece right now. I've 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 given him, um, you know, the, the details of it and stuff. And next week he's gonna start working on some sketches and some mockups and like get get, get that you know rolling. Um, it's you know this is. It's coming, guys. Like it's, it's. I think I said this at the end. It's coming like Earth Delete. Yeah, it's. It is so it's surreal to me <laughs> to think back. You know, thirty eight, thirty nine months ago now, or however long it's been, when I was, you know, just first had this idea to to see that. You know, here it is now. That's that's. You know the <laughs> the first version of Earth Delete said takes one less damage during each combat. <laughs> like <laughs> how far? How even how I how far? When you asked me like, what should this keyword be? And I was like. <laughs> Armor, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's just you know, it's 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 coming together. Um, you know, obviously a big four moment, isn't it? It's pretty pretty rough. Um, Griffin says same rate. Yeah, I I think so. We got. I mean, we haven't like talked all the details yet. That's that's to be to be determined, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, uh, this was. Like I said, we we're just gonna do kind of a, a, a little bit of a shorter stream tonight. I, I was really happy that the number of people got to jump in here and take a look at this. I mean, this is this is a huge sort of bridge that we've crossed. Um, Can we do a, a Travis a favor and just drop the picture in the chat because he can't open the stream? Oh, he can't open the stream at all. No, he said that he's trying to tune in without the audio, but it's like forcing audio out of the speaker. He's watching the stream. He's at yeah, he's in the movie theater right now. He's trying to just like <laughs> poor guy the new art while he's in the movie theater. Let me see if I can. Make this public. I we take care of our own. <laughs> Boom. There it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know if anybody, you know, this is, like I said, a little bit of a short stream. Um, I think we're going to probably kind of like shut it down with that. Uh, you know, obviously I wanted to show. My patrons first. I'm gonna probably put the put a post on like Patreon for anybody who couldn't join the stream to like get a look at it. Um, you know, make the announcement that way, and then um, you know, eventually we'll start doing more like art presentations that are maybe a little more broad, as far as like getting getting stuff out there for for more people to see and try to start getting a little you know. We, we talked about trying to make a little bit more um, banners and advertisements oh, and stuff oh, like yeah, that yeah, that, yeah, that uses sure. some of the art now that I own I it. Like, I feel like once we have two pieces, we can yeah, start, yeah, start up, putting something out. The social media exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, definitely wanted to get it in front of you guys first, let you guys see this. I mean, this has been it's been a very long time coming, but it's here. This is this is our first card, Earth's Elite, and I am like beyond ecstatic. I'm hyped. Super hyped. It's so good. <laughs> it looks so I can't wait to see what the back of the card is going to look like. I, I mean, that's, I don't even, I honestly have put very know. little thought into that. I have no clue what, we don't even know what the official logo is. What was that, Ruben? Just slap what? Just slap the title on the back. Flawed. Oh. Just make it white. Flawed. Oh, Travis saw it. He gave it the Bulbasaur, like, chibi little, like, happy face react. I don't even know what the hell My that craving is. to produce fan art has been ignited. I love it. Don't don't let your dreams become memes, Jake. It doesn't have to be oh, fan yeah. art. Maybe <laughs> wants to hear about lore. Let me tell you. Oh, Avery. okay. Well, no, we could do that on another. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. But the amount of lore that this guy has thought up already. <laughs> he could write like multiple, multiple comic books. That is true. Um, it's great, and like you don't realize it. I didn't realize it. You know, he's designing these cards, and there's so much lore in the cards. You wouldn't know. Yeah. Zoltan, actually, a really, a really good point. The um, the card that I presented to the artist to work on starting next week, um, I would say fifty percent of my very, very lengthy email was lore and backstory, <laughs> and like this is why this guy is this way. Like, I want you to really get in his shoes so that you can make for me what I'm visioning. Um, so you know, give it a little while, but when that comes around, you will definitely be getting starting to get some of it on that side. Um, I'll I'll take it and we'll we'll see what we can how much we can run with it. I mean I I do have a ton of that stuff like and and I'm really super passionate about it. If you, I mean you could ask Jake and some of the other guys who are in some of my other Discord groups like my 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 like family groups and stuff. I will sit there and talk about it for like an hour at a time. Yeah, Andrew <laughs> Andrew got a got a pretty big dose of it like last week or two weeks ago. We were talking about some fire fire faction stuff, but um, 
I think for now we're gonna we're gonna sign off there again. I, I cannot thank you all enough for showing up tonight to check this out, but also just you know for backing me from the get go and um, getting us to this point. It's it's humbling. It's an honor. I'm 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 so excited to get this in, in people's hands. Um, any final inputs from the peanut gallery I got over here? I'm I'm so excited. Kathy's just I've, excited. I've been working on templates for green cards forever. I want to be a different color. color. <laughs> Ruben says he's glad it's finally coming. But um, all right, for now, I think we're going to go ahead and sign off again. Thank you to everybody. We'll, we'll catch you next week. We're going to probably do a little bit more of a longer stream next week rather than just this little, this little tidbit. But um, until then, we'll, we'll see you all next time.